Just imagine you're a baby ice giant, growing older, meeting friends, and fighting zombies for 100 days. On day one, I appeared in the world of tabs. Whoa, I'm actually a baby ice giant. I was really small compared to my parents, and I had a baby bonnet on my head. I was living in the frozen north with my ice giant family. Suddenly, a tribe of barbarians invaded our home. I was so scared. Hugo, run, hide behind a tree. We will keep you safe. I listened to my mother and hid behind a tree. The battle lasted a long time. My ice giant family was really strong. They used their giant fists to slam their enemies, and their skin was as hard as stone. Before long, the tribal faction ran away in fear. The ice giant tribe was victorious. I was reunited with my family, and together we celebrated our victory. On day two, I awoke in the morning. I felt strange. It almost seemed like I grew a little bigger. Mom? Dad? Did I just grow? Yes, son, you did. Here in the magical snow of the north, we grow very quickly. I was so excited. I was gonna be huge. I stayed with my parents for a while, but before long, I was getting bored. I decided to go exploring. I made my way amongst the snow and came upon some funny trees. The leaves were very pretty. I wanted to bring some home to my mom and dad. As I reached for the branches, I heard a strange noise. Behind me was a very green person. The green man suddenly lunged at me. I was under attack, but I was too small to defend myself. The green man made some very strange noises. It almost sounded like he was hungry. I was so scared and I cried out for help. Suddenly, a barbarian leapt in to save me. He used his axes and defeated the green man. Thank you so much for saving me. My name is Hugo. Ah, the name's Braxton. And you are very welcome, Hugo. We went our separate ways and I ran home to my parents. On days three through five, I rushed back home and told my parents about what happened. They were in shock. Nobody had any idea who the green man was. We were all very afraid. Nobody is to leave the safety of the family. My dad was the leader of the ice giants. He was the bravest and the smartest of all of us. I was definitely not happy though. I wanted to explore find something fun to do. I started to adventure further from the family. I didn't go too far though. I could still see them. While I walked among the trees, I heard that strange sound again. I was so, so scared. Help! Help! The green man is here! My parents came to rescue me. And there wasn't just one green man, but many of them. The green men tried to attack me, but my dad froze them with his ice breath. These green men were no match for the ice giants. When the battle was over, I turned to my parents. What are those things? I don't know, but I don't think they're alive. On days 6 through 12, I had grown a lot bigger. I was no longer a baby. Now, I was a really big kid, and I felt much stronger now. We continued to stop the attacks of the green men, but their numbers were growing, and the ice giants were starting to get desperate. Mom? Dad? We need help. You're right. Let's go speak to the barbarians. My family and I made the journey to the North Tribe. When we got there, we were shocked. The North Tribe was under attack by the Green Men, and it looked like they were losing. The Ice Giants jumped into battle. There were a lot of Green Men, but we were not afraid. We used our great strength to help the North Tribe defeat the Green Men. I looked around at the survivors. The North Tribe was once very large but now only a few people remained. I told the North Tribe that we came in peace and told them about the green men that kept attacking us. The eyes of the tribal leader grew wide with shock. Those are not green men. Those are zombies, and they have been attacking us as well. The tribal faction had lost so many people to the zombies, and soon there'd be nobody left to defend these lands. The ice giants and the tribal faction created a truce. They would protect each other from the coming zombie horde. On days 13 through 20, we defended the North Tribe. The zombies continued their attacks almost every single day, and their numbers were growing quickly. If we didn't do something soon, none of us would survive. I grabbed the North Tribe leader and ran over to my parents. We need to go out into the world and find some help. Reluctantly, they agreed. Braxton the Barbarian and a woman named Helga offered to go with me. Together we traveled the snowy lands looking for people that could help us. We were making good time when suddenly we were ambushed. A very strange zombie approached us. It was unlike anything we had seen until now. It made a strange sound. And suddenly more zombies appeared. This must be a zombie mother. We charged into battle against the zombies. Braxton was strong and his axes were sharp. Helga was very smart and used her head well. I slammed the zombies with my massive fists. Together we killed the zombie mother and all of her zombie children. This is getting out of hand. 
ready to find help fast. On days 21 through 27, we continued exploring the world. I was no longer a child. I had grown into a full-blown adult. And for some strange reason, I had hair. Never in Ice Giant history had someone had hair before. I always knew you were special. We left the realm of ice and snow and came to a very strange place. There was dirt and sand in every direction and the air was very warm and these strange tall structures could be seen amongst the dirt. My friend said that these were called buildings. This is the western realm. We might find some help here. Suddenly, a group of bandits surrounded us. We were completely trapped, and a strange-looking man stepped forward. What have we here? Helga explained the situation. She pleaded with the strange man, but he did not seem amused. Zombies? For real? You must be about your mind. I was beginning to lose hope when I heard that strange noise once more. Zombies were attacking the town. Now the people that were our captors all of a sudden became our friends. And together we turned to defeat the zombies. There were so many of them. I managed to kill a few, but the western faction killed many of them with their guns. I was absolutely shocked. These guns were very effective against the zombies. Together we defeated the horde, but the western faction had lost some men. On days 28 through 35, we stayed with the western faction. They didn't believe us at first, but now they were willing to listen. The zombie attack had scared some sense into them. We told them about our home, about the ice giants and about the northern faction, and we told them about the zombie attacks too. They showed us their guns, and I was very impressed. These would really help defeat the zombies. Things weren't always peaceful, however. We helped them defend against the zombies again and again and again. Yet no matter how many zombies we killed, more would just keep on coming. Eventually, I begged for the Western faction to help us. It took a really long time, but I convinced them that we were stronger together. I waved goodbye and set off home to the Northern Realm. On days 36 through 46, we returned to the North Realm. The journey was very hard. The zombie attacks continued every single day. They were growing relentless and we were getting exhausted. I hope my family was okay. Finally, at the end of our long journey, we arrived at the North Tribe. Yet when we finally returned home, the place was completely empty. There was no sign of my parents and there was no sign of the North Tribe. What do we do now? I stood for a moment deep in thought. What would my dad do in this moment? Suddenly, I had an amazing idea. We must go and find the wise old wizard. My dad said he was the protector of the realm. He will know what to do. Helga and Braxton agreed with me. We searched the tribal faction for supplies, then set off for Mount Terror. On days 47 through 58, we traveled to see the mystical wise old wizard. The journey was long and we rarely had a moment's peace. The zombies were relentless. We were attacked every single day and every single night. And at the end of our journey, we were exhausted, but we finally made it to Mount Terror. And to the surprise of no one, the zombies were already attacking the local tribes people. My friends and I jumped into battle. I had to save these people. Nobody deserved to die to a zombie. My friends joined me and together we defeated the zombie horde. I never thought I would be thanking an ice giant, but thank you very much. We're here to see the wise old wizard. The tribal leader pointed to the top of the mountain and my friends and I set off on our climb. On day 59 we arrived at the top of Mount Terror. The wise old wizard was waiting for us. He stood quietly as we told him our tale. We told him all about the ice giants. We told him all about the north tribe. We even told him about the western tribe. And the wise old wizard was nodding his head the entire time. I do not know who created the zombies. I also do not know what happened to your parents. All I know is that we must stop this. And I know just the person to help. Together we descended the mountain and left to find more survivors. On days 60 through 67 we traveled to our next destination. Having a wizard on the journey made dealing with the zombies that much easier. If I thought having guns helped killing zombies, I was not ready for what spells could do. As our journey continued, we arrived in a strange and scary place. My friends and I were a little bit concerned. What kind of help could we find in such a terrifying place? In the distance, among the trees, we could see the zombies standing and waiting for us. The wise old wizard stepped forward. Come now, Mr. Death himself. Would you allow these zombies to trespass on your lands? Suddenly, a horde of skeletons rose out of the ground. And there, cloaked in blood red, was Mr. Death himself. Without mercy, the skeletons attacked the zombie horde, one group of undead beings fighting another. As a living, breathing ice giant, this battle was horrifying to watch. I could never imagine such a scene when I was a baby. Before too long, the skeletons had killed all the zombies in the area. The wise old wizard just smiled a knowing smile, and together we approached 
the Grim Reaper. On days 68 through 72, we negotiated with Mr. Death himself. It was very difficult to convince him. Why should he care about the affairs of man? Why should he care about the affairs of the living? The wise old wizard was a very smart and cunning speaker. He convinced Mr. Death himself that if the zombies ate every single person alive, there would be no more skeletons. Just hordes of zombies across the whole land. Reluctantly, Mr. Death himself agreed. Before you leave, I have something to tell you. I know the secrets to the zombie horde. Mr. Death himself and the wise old wizard had a secret conversation out of earshot from everyone else. When the conversation was over, the wise old wizard had a scared look on his face. This zombie problem is bigger than I feared. Come with me. We must be swift. On days 73 through 79, we traveled far and wide. The zombies continued to attack every single day, but we kept defeating them without too much problem. Yet no matter how many we would defeat, their numbers would just keep on growing. Before long, we would be overrun. We arrived in a land beside the sea and came upon a giant zombie horde. They were attacking a pirate ship. With practiced ease, we jumped into battle. The zombies were no match for the wise old wizard and his friends. I slammed my fists again and again and again into their bodies. Before long, we had killed them all. Thank you so much for saving us. The wise old wizard had revealed the woman to be Kira the Pirate Queen, and she was the leader of all the pirates. Unlike the Western tribe or Mr. Death himself, Kira was much easier to convince. She was more than willing to join our alliance of wiping out all the zombies. Once again, the old man stood off to the side having a private conversation with Kira the Pirate Queen, and he returned to the group with a very surprised look on his face. While they were sailing, some curious pirates had stumbled upon the North Tribe and the Ice Giants, but they were in a very, very strange place. In that moment, I was so happy, and together we set off to go and find my parents. On days 80 through 86, we traveled to the ancient realm, and there, among the buildings, was my family and the North Tribe. They had survived and escaped the zombie horde, though it's seen by the zombie horde followed them here. Without thinking, we all leapt into battle. I was so happy to see my family. I had to protect my parents. The battle raged on and on and on, but before long, we defeated all the zombies. Once the dust settled, I was overcome with sadness. So few people had survived the battle. Suddenly, my mother came to see me. Hugo, I'm... I'm so sorry. Your father, he didn't make it. My sadness turned to grief. My dad was so smart and he was so strong, but now he was gone and there was a giant hole left in the ice giant tribe. I summoned my courage and faced my mother. My father was a great ice giant. He was the leader of our people. I hope I can be half as great as he was. My mother looked at me with a big warm smile and all the ice giants surrounded me in a big group hug. They accepted me as their leader. On days 87 through 99, we prepared for war. The Northern tribe put their blacksmiths to work, and they crafted for me a sturdy helmet and very powerful swords. I was no longer a baby, and I was no longer a child. Now, I was fully grown and the leader of the Ice Giants. What was left of the North tribe was here, and they were ready for battle. My fellow Ice Giants were also here, and they would fight until the very end. The Western tribe arrived before long, bringing with them a lot of guns. Here, the Pirate Queen came with all of her pirates, and they brought their own big guns as well. As expected, Mr. Death himself was fashionably late, but he came with all of his skeletons, and together we would face the zombie horde. Every day the zombies would test our armies. Only small battles, nothing too big, and every day we would fight them back. We would begin to draw up new battle plans. The wise old wizard had found the main horde, and we were preparing to attack. Our battle plan was firmly in place. We sounded the horn to advance the army, and left the ancient realm to save the world. On day 100, we entered the land. Legacy realm. There, in the center of a large canyon, stood an old church. The wise old wizard had told us that this was the place that caused the zombie horde. Some evil acolytes were here, and their dark rituals had summoned the zombies. If we could defeat them, we could stop the zombie plague. All of our armies moved into position. The only thing standing between us and salvation was a massive zombie horde. I tightened my grip on my new weapons and signaled the attack. Our massive armies clashed with the zombie horde. The ice giants froze them with their powerful breath. The barbarian tribe hacked at them with their axes. The western tribe mowed them down with their guns. The pirates exploded them with their bombs. And Mr. Death himself 
with the skeletons attacked without fear. We were beginning to win the battle, but the acolytes kept summoning more zombies. If we didn't stop them, we would lose by sheer numbers. I made my way around the outside of the battle, and I infiltrated their back lines. The acolytes were undefended. I charged into battle using my great flaming swords. With the last acolyte killed, the zombie hordes got no more reinforcements, and soon they were overrun by our armies. We did it! We defeated the zombie horde! We saved the entire world! 